we are uh, among the scientific leaders in this area, uh, doing really scientific breakthroughs and developing healthcare applications that are affecting patients' lives today. Uh, a lot of this is behind the scenes to patients, but the tools doctors use to manage you in the healthcare, uh, healthcare setting uh, really are developed by teams like us at the University of Pittsburgh. The department has its roots in the work of doctors Jack Myers, Harry Popel, Randy Miller, Chuck Friedman, and others who've been at the University of Pittsburgh. We have a graduate training program under the direction of Dr. Rebecca Crowley that has approximately 40 graduate students. In addition, we have 15 postdoctoral fellows, and our faculty are teaching over 20 courses uh, in our curriculum. The training program is dedicated to providing our students with a world-class education that prepares them to be outstanding leaders in biomedical informatics research, education, and practice. We uh, are scientific innovators. Uh, we use that scientific innovation to develop healthcare applications that are applied to the four scientific domains of biomedical informatics, uh, bioinformatics, imaging informatics, uh, public health informatics and clinical informatics. Do you mind if I take your blood pressure? Bioinformatics broadly refers to the methods by which biological data is transformed into knowledge. We are trying to use biomarkers to be able to predict early detection of disease. So we have applied these novel methods that we've discovered to find biomarkers that allow early detection of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. And uh, we are very excited at the potential of translating these and related results into clinical practice. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing fine, thank you. Great. Do you mind if I do an examination? Well, geroinformatics is uh, the application and development of uh, medical informatics tools and techniques applied to older adults. Well, we're uh, designing several projects and several projects in place uh, for geroinformatics uh, in uh, doing clinical and translational uh, research uh, focusing on medication safety of older adults. It's really important uh, because uh, medications are frequently associated with uh, adverse drug events and that's you can define it as an, uh, an injury due to the use of medication. So in response to the Institute of Medicine's recommendation that all healthcare settings uh, develop and implement an active medication monitoring system, we developed one for use in the nursing home setting. Uh, this was developed uh, using expert consensus uh, and knowledge engineering uh, principles and we found that it was quite effective and accurate in detecting these events. The Center for Advanced Study of Informatics and Public Health is a collaboration between the Department of Biomedical Informatics and the Graduate School of Public Health at the University of Pittsburgh. The collaboration also involves the Tarrant County Health Department, the Allegheny County Health Department, and the Pennsylvania Department of Health, as well as uh, collaborators from the Human Computer Interaction Institute at Carnegie Mellon University. In 1999, we developed the ROD system, which stands for Real-Time Outbreak and Disease Surveillance. In 2002, we developed the National Retail Data Monitor, the NRDM. The NRDM collects data from 30,000 drug stores and grocery stores about sales of thermometers and other over-the-counter healthcare products. Uh, it's, it analyzes these data, displays them in maps and graphs, similar to the ROD system. CASIF is supported by a Center of Excellence grant from the CDC and five other grants. Uh, the total support per year is $3 million, and it, it funds six major projects. DBMI recently recruited Dr. Jerry Douglas to lead a center for health informatics for, under, for the underserved. Jerry has more than 10 years of experience um, working in developing countries in Malawi in specific. Um, and there we've worked together um, looking at um, the feasibility of sort of bringing electronic health records directly to the point of care. Um, in low resource settings. What we've developed is a, um, an extremely robust touchscreen clinical workstation. Those systems have been used to register more than 1.3 million patients in Malawi. And what we're doing now is combining what we've learned in Malawi with um, public health informatics techniques that have been developed here at the University of Pittsburgh to, to create new information tools. Biomedical informatics at the University of Pittsburgh is really affecting healthcare delivery, not just within our university, not in just in the clinical care setting, but in global populations as well.